Spring is in the air, and what other way to celebrate spring than making some spring rolls? The purpose of this is for me to not be trying to recreate the wheel. I, I want to take existing recipes, either replace the protein with bugs or add bugs to it to make it more nutritious. Because every, there, like I said, there's always a stigma behind bugs. I want to take that, get rid of it, throw it away, and make some delicious meals. And today, with our continuation of East Meets West, we're going to be doing just that. I'll be making spring rolls, and I'll be replacing the shrimp with doobie roaches. So, I, you know what, I'm hungry, let's just start cooking. We're gonna start things off with a peanut sauce. Just, I wanna, I like to build this first, cause then it sits and all the flavors kinda just come together and it just enhances. Also, when you make the spring rolls, you just really don't wanna sit around wake and have to make the sauce. So it makes more sense to start with the sauce. So, what I like to do is I will start off, it's gonna be one half cup creamy peanut butter. One quarter cup of low sodium chicken broth. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lime juice. About a half a teaspoon of garlic chili sauce. One and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. One teaspoon of red curry paste. Now I start off mixing this first before I will add the shallots, the ginger, and the the garlic, wow, one blank on what the garlic is. Just to break down to peanut butter. Show one with a bigger bowl. I have to say, my favorite thing about spring rolls is the peanut sauce. I could just eat this stuff all by itself. So the peanut sauce, I like to have the consistency. You see right there, it does a nice good coating, but it comes right off. Mm. Okay, oh, that's delicious. Once I have that all mixed up, I'll add one shallot. Three cloves of garlic, and roughly a teaspoon of ginger. So I'm gonna place this in the fridge. Now you do have the option if you want to put this in the blender and chop everything up. I like the chunks of the ginger and the shallots and the garlic all together, but it's it's all really your preference on what you wanna do with this. All right, so next is gonna be the fish sauce. Now uh, I do make my own fish sauce, and I start off with this as a base and I dilute it down. I'll add the recipe to that, but for the purposes of this, really, I'm just gonna say I'm using a quarter cup of fish sauce. So we have a quarter cup of fish sauce. You wanna add two tablespoons of fresh lime juice, two tablespoons of fresh squeezed water, and half a teaspoon of garlic chili sauce. That's my spring roll dipping sauce, and I always forget to add this, so I'm going to throw it in right now before we get to making the spring rolls. Uh, if you like what you're watching, if you like my content, please uh, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to be alerted whenever I post any videos, just hit that bell. All right, so next we're going to be preparing the shrimp. If you already don't have them, I don't know, if you buy the bag stuff. I got fresh shrimp, or I should say fresh shrimp. They were frozen, but close enough. So I want to boil them in order how I boil my shrimp anyways is I have four cups of water. About a teaspoon of salt. And half a lemon. And I bring it to a boil. And once it's at a boil, I will add the shrimp. We're live! All right, so now we're at a boil. So now we're gonna be, yeah, welcome back. So now we're gonna add, actually, I don't know. I ordered two pounds of whole shrimp and I just like took all the shells off. So I didn't weigh this. So maybe a pound or so, just a bunch of shrimp. Can't ever have too many. So now put that in the water or the water as we like to say in Pennsylvania. And once it's boiling again, we'll do it for about three minutes. We don't want to make them too chewy. That, that's no good. And we'll take it off the heat and we will submerge it in some ice water. So, okay, well, I'm just going to stare at this for the next four minutes. All right, it's been about four-ish minutes. Let's take these babies out. They are ready. Oh, yeah, they're nice and curled up. And putting them right into some ice water. So you're probably thinking to yourself, wait, didn't he say he was doing spring rolls with dubia roaches? You're right, they're right here. I'm about to put them into, uh, I, I, like this is like a shrimp broth. So I figure 
I do the shrimp first, get all the flavors into the pot, and then when I put them in there, it should absorb some of the flavor, give them a little bit of that shrimpy taste. So let's put them in there. I'm gonna boil them for about four minutes, take them out, and set them all to the side and start building the spring rolls. All right, so I'm about to remove them, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a educational fact about these. Uh, more along understanding how to prep them, and there's not much out there. From what I've read and what I do is I have to soak them in a lemon juice. I use just straight lemon juice. I squeeze a lemon, and the purposes of that is because they're supposed to have a wax layer on them. It's a very bitter layer. So putting them in the, the lemon, the acid will remove the wax, so when you cook them, they're a lot more tasty. And so far, I haven't had any bitterness from when I've ate them, so let me get them out, put them in some ice water, and start preparing the veggies. The preparation of the vegetables, this is really up to you on what you want to put on the spring roll. I'm going to start off with butter lettuce, remove the ribs, and then tear them. Next, I have two Persian cucumbers. Peel them, slice them into really thin strips. Next are carrots. You're going to peel them. And then, uh, this is a nice little trick. If you square them up, you can actually cut them a lot easier into nice little strips. Green onion's easy. All you're just going to do is chop it, and then voila! Next are the jalapenos. Use gloves. It sucks having this on there. Just remove the seeds. And then you're going to also want to strip them also. Next is cilantro, just loosely chopped. These last two items I use sparingly just because they're very strong. And just the mint, you want to remove it from the stems. And also the Thai basil. If you've never had Thai basil, it's think of black licorice, but if you roll the leaves up, it's really easy to chop. Okay, we are almost done. So we have two more steps left to do. The second to last one is our vermicelli noodles. Now, everyone is different. I'm gonna follow the directions on this package. I have two bowls of water in me. I have cool and I have warm water. We're gonna soak them for about five to 10 minutes in the cool water and then transfer it to the warm water for about two minutes. And then, well, for me, it's gonna be five to 10 minutes. We'll be back in like 10 seconds for you. All right, so it's been about eight minutes or so, and now I'm about to transfer to some warm water or kind of hot in between. And we're gonna leave it in there for about two minutes and then take it out and then we're gonna do our last step. All right, so it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna remove it out of the warm water. I'm gonna stick it on a plate. So you'll know when they're, they're done, when they're about a little al dente. It's kind of really the best way to explain it. Building the spring roll requires patience and practice. You're gonna start by placing the rice wrapper into warm water, just a quick dip. You don't wanna oversaturate it. And you're gonna remove it and stick it on a clean surface. I'll be using one of my cutting boards. Now, ah, finally, time to build our spring rolls. For this, you can build them however you like. For me, I'm gonna start off laying down the roaches and then I am gonna put down the lettuce, cucumber, a little bit of the carrot sticks, some jalapenos, place a little bit of the green onions on there and sprinkle a little bit of the mint and some of the Thai basil. And now it's time to add some of the vermicelli noodles. All right, so this is the tricky part, trying to roll it as tight as possible. The whole point is really you want to showcase your protein. Halfway rolling up, I'm going to add a little bit of my cilantro. All right, let's finish rolling this thing up. As you're going, just make sure you bring up the sides nice and tight. Voila! There's those beautiful roaches. We made it to the end, and I have to say this is the most difficult thing I've had to make, but I love spring rolls, so I bet it's really delicious. I hope so. So... I have my cockroach, <laughs> so I have my cockroach spring roll, and let's dip it in this peanut sauce and see how it tastes. Hmm. Another roach. I can do this. I can see it this time, though. This makes it hard. So I took a really big bite because I did not want to try cutting through the roach, but. Pretty good. Not my favorite recipe, but it's palatable. 
and it doesn't taste fishy. So the whole coconut and the uh, like the shrimp broth didn't really work out, but it is still delicious. So I guess it's like one thumb up, really. If you want to try it, try it a little bit differently. Please do let me know if you will actually try it. Uh, so I'm going to finish these all because I don't waste food and y'all have a wonderful weekend.